Hey, welcome to the Best of the Week podcast. You know what we call it? Do you know by now? Surely you do. Uh, it's the It Does What It Says on the Tin podcast because it does just that. It does exactly what it says on the tin. This is what it says on the tin. This is about a 25-year-old bloke named Max and he's been dubbed Man of the Year. Oh, yeah. um, after he supported his Tinder date as she gave birth when they went on their fourth date. Oh. Now, wow. Yes. So, Alyssa from Brisbane yeah. um, joined Tinder when she was six months pregnant. Oh, God, I thought I was going to say six months old. <laughs> Got to get him in early. It's like private school. And, um, and get she on the cl- list. Get on the list. <laughs> yes. Um, and she clearly stated in her bio she was pregnant. Um, she matched with Max. And when they met up for their first date, she unexpectedly went into labour at eight months. Max then stepped up, went with her to the hospital and supported her through the seven-hour birth to her son, Ollie. I cannot... This is just... That's beautiful. It it actually makes me want to cry. Please don't cry. This girl, at six months pregnant, has probably had a really tough time of it and she's thought, Mm, why would I go on Tinder? She's been encouraged to do it. She's probably even felt a bit silly about it Mm. and she's gone on there and this bloke... 25-year-old Max is, in fact, man of the year. Yeah, I yeah. And she's like, oh, come on, this is just... It's wow. Love, it's a love, and look at them. Don't they look like a great, brizzy couple? I know. And Max admitted he was anxious about the situation, would normally swipe right on a pregnant girl, but there was just something about Alyssa. And they've they've bonded over the unexpected circumstance and have been raising Ollie together. And since. Ollie is a lucky kid to have him and her in that kid's oh my life. Goodness. Look at them. Look at oh, so they've actually this is a continued relationship. They're planning to move in together. Yeah. Oh, not only a friend. Oh my goodness. Don't cry, mate. <laughs> Don't I'm cry. not going to cry, but I just you know what? It, like you said, it's all a bit crappy out there at the moment. It's awful out there at the moment. So, you know, there's a bit of sunshine. For I'm me. not, don't worry. I'm not. Don't cry, mate. Don't cry. Mate. I'm not going to cry. I'm not crying. Just because I'm not dead inside yet. <laughs> you know, you tried to. I, you oh, tried. I tried, mate. I tried. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Why are you guys looking so shocked That's in there? Lovely, are you listening to something different in there? This is a or? lovely story, Joel. I'm actually surprised you story. popped it on the board. Why didn't I? Of course I did. Look at them. It's Look called Compliment them. Day. Yeah. A global initiative to create the most positive day in the world. We should have a margarita to celebrate. We should. <laughs> we need to celebrate with margarita. Hey, tell us something lovely, mate. Uh, well, yesterday I entered my startup uh, company into a pitch competition. Mm. I delivered my pitch to some judges and I won. Oh, oh, good on you, Heath. Uh, Kylie, what is this, the thing that you want to tell us that's lovely? <laughs> Oh, man, mine was uh, last week when I was getting fuel. The guy in front of me paid for mine. So, oh my god, that yeah. happens. Why did yeah. he? Why and why did he do it? Because he fancied you, or just because he was a good guy? I was in uniform, so I was going to work. I'm a nurse. Okay. Oh, oh we yeah. love you, Kylie. You I yeah. actually paid for a girl's uh, coffee at a cafe that it was in front of me um, only about two months ago. Why? And why? I said, I said, I'll do it. Because she was fart assing around in her oh, handbag right. and her app wasn't working. Uh, yeah, like, and she was on, 22 and she had chip nail polish. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this one, sweetheart. <laughs> Daddy's got this uh, one. Yeah, I'm the guy from the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you listen to Nova? What do you mean you don't? What do you mean you're too young? Uh, <laughs> what's a podcast? <laughs> hey, Dave, uh, something lovely. Hi, I just want to compliment Tim. He has wonderful hair. Oh, Dave. Oh, this is wow. ridiculous. Are you are you, are you com- complimenting him because he's had a fresh haircut this week or you just think generally I the think way generally it flip-flops like it. down yeah, onto his forehead in front of the cancer? Let no, sorry, answer. you go, Let Dave. Let answer, Big Kate, you bloody mic hog. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Dave. Just in general, he looks fantastic with that hair. Oh, oh Dave, oh, look Dave, at that. Dave, do, do you follow him on Instagram? Are you a, are you a fan? I'm, you a, been... I'm an Instagram follower. Oh, good on you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to run your fingers through it. We're closer than you are, Dave, to yeah. us. You never know. I accidentally washed it when you were away last week. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Right. That'd be right. It was a lovely phone, <laughs> of Joel. Kate, Tim and Joel. Wait for it. You just like me because I'm good in bed. Oh, I can't sing over it. I like it. Is this the Skyhook? It sure is. I love it. What do you wish your partner would do in bed? Uh, make it. <laughs> 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 well, that's what I meant when 
my sense of true because this is a, this is like a, like a married men, for example, yawn. Speaking of yawning, yeah. Um, have shared their desires of what they wish their wives would do in that kind of department. Now, can I stop Oof. you there? Have you read the instruction in blue in brackets first? <laughs> oh, please mm. pre-read the sheet. Uh-oh. Well, telling I, us what to do. I did oh. have a little scan of the sheet. Some of it's a bit intense. We're asking, what do you wish your partner would maybe step up? Can and I ask, are these examples at? someone asking what they wish their man to do in bed? No, or what? what the man kind of wishes. wishes would happen a bit more in their house. Oh. Right, okay. The man is saying this because the third one down is intriguing if that's the case. So I'm going to take maybe the wife oh. and husband and the, all those kind of words out mm. and things. Well, don't, so I don't because know I if kids the, are in the car. and. Well, the third one's intriguing if it's the man asking the woman for it, don't you think? Absolutely, yeah, because he's asking to invite another male into the bedroom. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a red flag if you're a wife? Well, it depends, I guess. If you, sure you know, does, I mean, it just depends what mm. floats your boat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Hello, Christmas. No judgment here. No, never. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can well, read any day. of these. <laughs> Excuse me. Swinging. They'd like to try swinging. I you think it would live, that. live, and I can say that. That's why I am saying it. I, well, I think it would liven up our session life and life in general. What do you wish your partner would do more in bed? Put that big Mac truck right in this little garage. <laughs> Make a stream. I don't put it. Make a scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. And I did the old jungle. It's mad for the jungle or something. What? <laughs> don't worry. Pardon? <laughs> the, um, in that song, in WAP. No, it's a different song. Oh. Oh, cool. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> South of the border. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Ed's mad for the... Um, Ed's got jungle fever or something. Yeah, yeah, oh, it is. Are you repeating a joke he wants to? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's always so funny. <laughs> I think Ed's got a little jungle fever. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> We're not allowed to play that one, though, because that's not appropriate. <laughs> that's cultural appropriation. I think Ed's got a little jungle fever. Hey? <laughs> Well, Human Resources just emailed oh, me again. I just I remember that now. It's not. It's, it's anything. I'm just saying it quickly like they do in the song. You really can't You're rapping. Oh, I think rapping. Ev got a little jungle <laughs> fever here. <laughs> Why does it make me laugh so much? I've got to have some fun somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. You do, but, but at whose expense? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, anyway. Uh, Shelley, um, what would you like your partner to... Uh, <laughs> to do more in bed. Um, it was actually he. I would like him to do less. Oh yes. Oh. Um, mm. Mm, yeah, I'd like him to do less snoring. Oh, oh yeah, we went there. Shelly. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Big Mac truck right in his little garage. No thanks. Just stop snoring as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, none of that. <laughs> hey Kelsey, what do you wish your partner would do more in bed? Um, I would like them to use more gadgets. Mm-hmm. Gadgets. Gadgets is the wrong word, surely. Yeah, because that implies like, an word. iPad or oh, you something. You can't use toys. Oh. <laughs> you can't say gadgets. That's creepy. I've been yeah. told not to use toys. <laughs> it's like you're going to bring a Roomba into the room or something, or a Dyson. <laughs> or, or inspect the gadgets. <laughs> go, go, gadget. Oh, go, gadget. Gadget arms. That's what he had. What's Go, go, gadget, rabbit. <laughs> you, the you rabbit. were the rabbit the Mother. other day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. I've watched that video a few times. Oh, I hope not. Seriously. No. <laughs> not in bed. One <laughs> time for Easter. Right, now, Michelle, <laughs> I wonder what um, the, uh, the prudes in the booth told you not to say here. <laughs> It's Prue and Prude in the booth. He has some popcorn and chill out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say toy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Cool, Jess. Good save. Because we're going to say toys, 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 bedroom toys. <laughs> Gadgets. Gadgets. Gadgets are what? Ridiculous. I know. Gadgets it sounds so like painful. So you buy a BCF. <laughs> you any fishing gadgets? <laughs> Uh, now you want to what, glad we didn't do the washing up stuff that you wanted. Kate, Tim and Joel.
I don't want to yuck, you know, I never want to yuck someone's yum, but I couldn't think of anything worse than watching an episode of Maths. Oh, I've, wa- I've watched a little bit. Yeah, you're into it. I've no, never seen one not. single frame ever, and I'm no, proud of that. Yeah, neither have I. And I haven't gone out of my way to do that. That's just how it's worked out. And I, I know it's wildly popular. Like, good for them. You, I'll try, you know? try getting me in front of the box at 7.30 at night. It's manic. <laughs> in your house. Oh, my goodness. Um, you're lucky to sit down by nine. I know. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't I don't watch it, but I also hate people that say, "Oh, I don't watch that show." You know, it is, oh, it is a bit irritating. Okay, sorry, no. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying that I I don't watch it. My point I being, I don't watch it either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but are you saying that you don't watch it because you don't watch it, or you are you saying oh, I don't watch it because I'm above that kind of I don't rubbish? Say above no, it, I'm not above it. I watch so much junk. No, me, just not, yeah, not, our house wouldn't like it. I think also yeah, I, you can't watch it in front of the kids either. No, and my wife's not into that stuff, which is mm. so good. I'm so glad she's not. Yeah. Well, I love reality TV. I love Real Housewives. I love all of that. Just math. I, I, I don't like dating reality TV. Yawn. No. Mm. Okay. That's, yeah, same. Because I'm, I'm not that, that interested in, in your love life. No, no, And that's I'm not. true. Yeah. Anyway, there's some bride <laughs> on there. Called, her name's Caroline Santos. Oh, God, you love God. Um, and she was on with our own Fitzy and Whipper. Yeah. And um, abruptly cut off her radio interview with them. What? She hung up. Do you now, have Carolina, a I, I know this is harsh, but you've got a 16 year old son. Do you think that's you setting a good example for him? Carolina. Oh, dear. I think she's she hung up. I to answer that. Fitzy with the hard hitting questions. Mm. Bloody hell, Fitz. Yeah. So what's he asking about that? What what bad example is she setting? Well, because she's got a daughter, and mm. but I don't. And she, now she's on. I don't actually actually don't know. But she I, hung up. The whole point is she hung up. If this is the same person that I'm thinking of, yeah, I saw. I, I didn't see the episode, but I think the promo is something <laughs> oh, yeah. like it's, she's seen a lot of promos. No, 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 no. But I've no, but I've seen. I haven't. I didn't see. All I know is of the course the promo that ran for an hour last night no. at seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> the tease that I saw was, okay, someone left the house or some couple didn't work out, surprise, mm. surprise, and then you see her wandering up the hallway away from her chosen husband and knocking on the door of perhaps somebody else's husband. Right. So okay. that's the, 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 the beginning of some kind of cheating well, Fitz scandal. Fitz is here. Fitz is here. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Who's clearly oh, going to go, babe. who's going for the uh, the new host of Q&A next year with hard-hitting questions <laughs> like that. Whoa. Wow. Hey. <laughs> um, I have a real unhealthy obsession with this show. Do really you? unhealthy. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I, unfortunately, I'm addicted to it and I, and I watch it because... I think the number one thing I'm trying to work out here, and the casting agents are just, well, they're unbelievable because every year they can find people that want to get married but are more than happy to leave that. Oh, <laughs> oh you did. Brilliant. You really did do it. That's what we're doing here. Call up, hang up. We love you, Fitz. Yes. And we know you love it. But that, we, oh, God. Well, he's probably been hanging around, we moved just, appointments we, this afternoon. To oh, we've just flipped it. Fantastic. We've just flipped it. Yeah. <laughs> And hang up, yeah, in a real key part of the story, too. You need to hang up in a real key part of the so story. So we're doing call up, hang up. Oh, my God. Do we really want to listen to Fitz talking about the casting agent anyway? Well, Jules is here. Hey, Hi, Jules. Hi, oh, guys. Uh, sorry, I've got to go. Uh, <laughs> see you, Jules. Hey, oh, it's called call hey. up, hang up. Sonia, g'day. Oh, my God. If you think maths is great, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened to... <laughs> That's the way to call up. Hang up. Mid sentence. This, this is good. All right, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hey, Hello. Joe. You love maths, do you, Joe? I think maths is the trashiest show on TV. And oh. What does that say about you? <laughs> and call up. Hang up. <laughs> Joe. So ridiculous. Isn't that good? You guys love it. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> a bit of a shame, isn't it, to hang up on you, Mitch? Oh, yeah, mic's off. <laughs> what? What was that? Sorry? Kate, Tim, and Joel. <laughs> oh, look, smile on his face going. now. Come on, I'll describe a few emojis that make a, a song that says here, which is interesting. I'll describe a few emojis that make up a song. The first to yell it out gets a point. Why? We're doing, we're doing, doing flowers, just so what? you know. Why? Is there a Guys, reason for that? We're doing flowers. Is it so, World so Flower Day? You're not Day even or hearing me say it wrong. I'll describe a few emojis that make a song. And the first to yell it out. And so I've said that three times and it's wrong. And I've been like this the whole time. <laughs> They're busy. They haven't, they haven't heard the mistake. They're busy. They're making dinner plans. 
swiping right. I get it. 22 minutes before the end. Fade God, up. no, Fade I get it. Just for fun. It's flowers. Oh, he's he's, it's I don't flowers. know what's wrong with him. It's flowers. It's flowers. Okay, good luck, Joel. Question good luck, Kate. One. How many? Best of? Best of seven, unfortunately. Oh First of four. Oh, God. Okay. Two emojis. I'm going to win today. First you emoji are. is a peace sign. Second emoji is a pair of Peace, lips. Lily. No. Peony. Peace. Oh, peace. Oh, 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 peace um, sign lips. Uh, peace, um, sign lips. Peace, 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 peace. What's the one? What's the one? Peace. Snow peace. No. No, no peace. Oh. Peonies. No, no, I said no. that. What, hey, oh, what, I didn't hey, hear you say that. What are the fingers doing? What number are they two, doing? Two. Two lips. Two lips. Two lips. Oh, tulips. no. Two lips. I didn't even know. I know. You said tulips. snow peas and then two lips. But you got it. This is really hard. Oh, my God. I really love this one. Yeah, me too. I love this I love one. I'm not great I love at it flowers. flowers. Okay, second one. You're two not great at flowers. Your house is full of flowers. Yes, Jack does them. I don't do them. Jack does the flowers. Yes, and not I all, do not the, all of them. The work. <laughs> okay, question number two. Two emojis again. Here we go. First one is a brum brum car, red little car. And the second one is a flag of any kind. Don't get hung up on the country, but it's a flag. Car, of a country. Car, 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 so don't get hung car, up in car, the country. Chrysanthemum. No. Um, um, a car, car, car. Am I on the right track? With yeah. Carnation! Carnation. Oh, Carnation! Yes! Carnation! <laughs> oh, this is going to be a walkover. I can feel it. I'm trying so hard. Okay. Second Sorry, one. Ben. Oh, oh, one. I love this. Two Sorry, decay. bro. Oh, Number two. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to playing games against you last week. Oh, There's nothing like playing yeah. a game no, against you, Kate. No, Sylvia was just like, oh, no, you go. And then went like this. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, you're, my, go. you're my true rival. Okay, okay. Question three. Two emojis again. Two emojis oh, no. here. First emoji is a uh, like a pot with an egg in it, I guess. A little fryer. Yeah. And the second one is waves. Um, Egg water. Pack. Stop talking it out loud. Oh, sorry, mate. Egg. That's my process. He can do what he wants. What are you looking out of your teeth? Pan, <laughs> Banoffee pan, cream pie. Pan water, pan water. No. Egg. 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 But no, the egg. Pretend the egg's no, not there. Not egg. Pretend the egg's not there. Okay. Um. Pry wa- water. Pansies! Pansies! Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Pansy! Yeah. Pansy! Yeah. No! Jesus Christ. <laughs> we finish early today. Okay, question number four. This oh, is for the win, Kate. Text, oh, someone, I just read a text on the screen. Joel, don't worry about your voice. Could be worse. You could be Husey. <laughs> <laughs> and then Peter suggesting maybe the um, the pole in the bath here might have been starting, staying at the Pyramid Ryan. The Pyramid Rhino. He's calling it the Peppermint Rhino. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't exist, right. does it? I don't think so. Maybe at Noldy's house. <laughs> um, here we go. Question four for the win, Kate. Oh, oh no. Win, Kate. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. This is three Richie. emojis. Three emojis. Yep. The first emoji is a bride, a beautiful bride. Blushing bride. Second emoji Blushing. is a beautiful groom. And the third emoji Wedding. is a, kind of an award of some kind. Wedding medal. Wedding boy medal. Wedding. Um, is it wedding? Like, is it that? Is that kind of on the right track? No, no, you can't what, ask questions. Well, what do you do oh at a God, wedding? Calm you down. You've got to have a Marigold! Marigold! You see, he can ask questions because you hear the answer. You are so. You can't ask questions! Sorry, Ben. Millie. You've won the AirPods. I just punched the back face. the wheel. my life. <sighs> Mate, really. We did it, really. <laughs> Lucky your 900k away. I'm going to be right here, innit? So <laughs> blessed. Kate, Tim and Joel. Now, I haven't seen this film. Uh, haven't you? So, yeah, so. No, I might, neither have I. I. I'm going to drive this, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um... But movie fans are losing their mind on Reddit. But I feel like people are always losing their mind on Reddit. Um, yeah, they don't ever any... post something and go, everything's good here. No, any excuse I know. for someone to lose their mind, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they said that the here, rom-com... Yeah. yeah, this is it. Crazy Stupid Love with um, with Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. 
Um, Crazy Stupid Love has one of the best plot twists in movie history, right? So it came out in 2011 and it follows Cal, is the character's name, and that's played by Steve Carell, okay. uh, whose life changes when his wife reveals she wants a divorce. Oh, topsy turvy. Right? So he. Mm hmm. Oh, so um, relatable. Oh, uh, right. Um, he navigates the single scene with the help from his professional bachelor friend, Ryan Gosling. Of God. course, who else would you turn to? <laughs> so Ryan teaches Steve Carell how to seduce women and become the ultimate player. Um, <laughs> then at the end of the movie, Ryan Gosling's character ends up dating a girl named Hannah, who is actually Cal's daughter, Steve Carell's daughter. Yeah. Is that the twist? Yeah. That's the twist. And one Reddit user said, the revelation of Hannah bringing her boyfriend to meet her family is one of the most surprising, satisfying scenes that utilize, utilizes intentional misdirection by any team ever. <laughs> of all the mo- of all the movies of all in the all movies. of the, the history of movies, and we were just talking off air. Some hectic, great late nineties movies like Primal Fear with Richard Gere and Edward Norton. What about Donnie Darko? What about the twist of Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko. We will do spoiler alerts here. He goes back in time, mate. Does he? Yes. Did Shutter Island have a massive twist? Yes, but or I was that one? Yes, I don't know if did. you understand what the twist is because I don't know if yeah. you understand the movie. Too many twists and turns. The other one I was going to say is Fight Club. That was massive twist. Oh, yeah. not, Huge I've not twist. Seen it. I've not seen Fight Club. Really? I haven't for a long I think time. I just said Fight Club. I've not seen Fight oh, Club. Oh, that's what Bindi Owens in Fight Club. What about that um, <laughs> Don't Look Up or whatever? What's that film? Did you not? Oh, Your you favorite. didn't get the twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we get Silver back. She hated that film too. So. <laughs> um, and we're happy to do spoiler alerts here. So if if you want to you know, hear how a movie has a twist in it that's 20 years old, then stick around. Um, Bianca, yeah. what's your go-to? What's the biggest movie twist? The Bone Collector with Angelina Jolie and Denzel Washington. Yeah, I love that film. It's such a good film. It starts off with Angelina Jolie as a rookie cop. Denzel Washington is a really good detective. He actually ends up being disabled um, and paraplegic, can't move from his neck down. Um, And it turns out the Bone Collector, the big serial killer that they're actually chasing, is one of his doctors that are treating him. In revenge of him. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's unreal. Great twist. Good luck if you were planning a movie Classic. night with that one tonight. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. No, 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 Souls. we're saying that, though. We're saying that. Now, now, Hugo, I think historically this is probably one of the biggest twists as well in movie history. What's your pick? Ah, uh, Hugo. Yeah. Hey, how are you going? Oh, great. Um, it's got to be the. Uh, it's got to be the usual suspect. So, uh, Kevin Spacey in The Usual Suspect. Yeah. The, um, who, who plays a main character right the way through, and mm. the big reveal of him being kind of Soze at the end, with uh, you know, with his awkward limp just melting away as he finally gets out of the police station. Oh, what a wonderful Soze. description! Well done, Hugo. Well you done. Get a team yeah. Twenty-five back. words or less. So oh, well no. done. Executed Another one I haven't seen. No. You know who just worked out though? People explaining movies is just as bad as hearing about people's oh. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tim and Joel's Week in Review. We started the week talking quarter pounders. I don't change anything. I just order off the menu. Right. Okay, I'm, you're I'm classic. That, I'm that person. You're a classic girl. I've always said that about you. I'm, I'm just the girl next door. Yes, you are. What yeah. do you do? You just swap the onions. That's it. And get rid of the pickles because you're a child and you like yeah, to I eat, know. you know. But the things you've had in your mouth. And I'm two pickles. Two pickles. Never do it once. Not over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> body. That girl get away from me. If it's green, something's gone wrong. <laughs> it was Bieber's birthday this week. Happy birthday, Justin Bieber. <laughs> That can only mean one thing. How are you, how, how are you celebrating? Celebrate. Celebrate. Let's have a margarita. Hang on, let's leave getting margs in for that. You know what? Let's have a margarita to celebrate. <laughs> Bloody margarita or something and celebrate. Let's have a margarita. <laughs> oh, you know it goes well with a chocolate oh. souffle. A mug. <laughs> we then got this call from Louise. Hi, Louise. Where are you calling us from? The top of Sydney Tower. <laughs> <laughs> no. Enjoy the rest of your flight. <laughs> <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Bit late for the Geronimo. <laughs> what do you mean? Geronimo! <laughs> Geronimo! I've still got it. Sorry, you know, they say it too quick. Geronimo! <laughs> 
Ooh, the girl next door is back. I used to eat really average green gherkins from the supermarket that came in the jar and I'd stick the gherkin in my mouth and put it down the side there and just suck on it for hours. That's how you got that reputation. (laughs) (laughs) The girl next door is back. (laughs) It's amazing the amount of juice you can get out of those things. Oh, my God. I'm starting to detect a theme this week. Hey, Kelsey, what do you wish your partner would do more in bed? I would like them to use more gadgets. Gadgets. Gadgets is the wrong word, surely. Toys? <laughs> you can't say gadgets. That's creepy. I've been yeah. told not to use toys. It's like you're going to bring a Roomba into the room or something, or a Dyson. <laughs> or Inspector Gadget. <laughs> What's your favourite? <laughs> go, go, Gadget Rabbit. You, you were the rabbit the other day. That's right. Rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. That's not a gadget. That's a snake. 27-year-old, <laughs> Sammy Joe. I thought you were being a snake just then. I thought you were being a gas burner. <laughs> it's Kate the snake. It's Kate. <laughs> Kate the snake's here. <laughs> Kate was Sally Fletcher. <laughs> Stop it, Joel. <laughs> it was a huge week of mashups on the show. Should we keep the mashups going for a second? Put that big Mac truck right in this little garage. <laughs> And I did the old jungle. It's mad for the jungle or something. What? <laughs> Don't worry. Pardon? It's got jungle fever or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you repeating a joke you once did? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah, got a little jungle fever. Hey? <laughs> We're not allowed to play that one, though, because that's not appropriate. I think it's yeah, got a little jungle fever. Hey? <laughs> They're just saying it quickly like they do with the song. You really? You're rapping. I think Rap. Ed's got a little jungle feel. <laughs> I've got to have some fun somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Absolutely. But at whose expense? <laughs> and finally, Kate needs new jeans. Do you know what? These jeans, these are quite expensive jeans, right? Yeah, okay. so, And they've got to start with the rips in them, and the rips ripped too yeah. much, so I went and had them fixed. But it's so dumb. My dog, can't believe I'm telling this story. Yeah. I won't show you which bit I had to have fixed. Crotch. My dog eats the crutch out of all of my things. <laughs> Knickers. Oh, knickers. These jeans have had to have the whole crutch. You know why. I know why. You know why, mate. I know. Quite the pescatarian. <laughs> what a week on the Kate, Tim and Joel show. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.